Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Monday, April 10th, 2023. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with lineup changes to the approaching New Japan Pro Wrestling shows being held in the United States. Eddie Kingston has been pulled from New Japan's upcoming collision card in Philadelphia on April 16th due to an undisclosed injury. In his place, Orange Cassidy will now face off against Gabriel Kidd. Cassidy's All Elite Wrestling International Championship is on the line if the champion can successfully defend it against the House of Black's Buddy Matthews on this Wednesday's edition of Dynamite in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Kingston last wrestled on May 31st in a losing effort against ROH World Champion Claudio Castagnoli. New Japan also announced a mini-tournament of former champions to determine a new number one contender for Kenny Omega's United States title, with the first bout being held during April 15th's show in Philadelphia when Lance Archer faces Juice Robinson. The victor of Archer against Robinson will move on to face the winner of Hiroshi Tanahashi against Will Ospreay, which is scheduled to take place on May 21st as a part of New Japan's resurgence show in Long Beach, California. The final match to determine the number one contender to Omega's title will be held on June 4th in Osaka as part of New Japan's Dominion event. New Japan also made a change in the lineup for their Capital Collision show taking place in Washington, D.C. the night before on April 15th, as Tomohiro Ishii is now slated to face off against Desperado in a singles match. Ishii was originally scheduled to be part of a 10-man tag team match, alongside Rocky Romero, Leo Rush, the DKC, and Clark Connors, against Volador Jr., Speedball Mike Bailey, Kushida, Gabriel Kidd, and Kevin Knight. Yesterday, it was announced Ishii's replacement in the match will be AEW's Chuck Taylor. In WWE injury news, the unknown malady keeping Drew McIntyre out of competition has been an issue the WWE veteran has been dealing with since before WrestleMania, according to the Wrestling Observer's Dave Meltzer. On Sunday's Wrestling Observer Radio, Meltzer noted that McIntyre's ailment has been something he's been working through, including his three-way match with Gunther and Sheamus during night two of WrestleMania eight days ago. McIntyre did not appear at last Friday's SmackDown taping and was also pulled from a scheduled autograph signing in the area scheduled for that day. In independent wrestling news, longtime professional wrestler Bobby Fulton took to Facebook on Sunday to plead for the return of his trademark sleeveless tuxedo jacket, which he says was stolen during his appearance, at the National Wrestling Alliance television tapings this past Saturday. Fulton posted, quote, I've got some very sad news. This historic tux jacket that I've had since 1984 has apparently been stolen. If anyone sees it for sale on eBay or anywhere else, please let me know. It's this very jacket in the picture. I'm mad and I'm heartbroken. After all I've been through, now this. It was taken yesterday at the NWA event I was at. End quote. Best known for his time as one half of the Fantastics alongside partner Tommy Rogers, with whom he teamed between 1984 and 1996, Fulton has faced multiple battles with throat cancer since December of 2017. And we close with some sad news. Mexican wrestler Pero de Guerra Jr. has passed away at the age of 33, according to a report posted Friday by Superluchas. No cause of death was given, although the story linked to a Twitter post from Guerra on February 19th, where the luchador announced he would be taking some time off to deal with his health issues. Real name Omar Adrian Tacomo Ricardo, according to Lucha Blog, Guerra Jr. last wrestled on February 18th as part of a three-way trios match at the Municipal Auditorium in Coaculo. Guerra Jr. mostly wrestled for independent promotions primarily in and around Mexico City in towns such as Coaculo, Naclapan, and Ecatepec. Once again, we close with the news that Luchador Pero de Guerra Jr. has passed away of unknown causes at the age of 33. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, Follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. 
The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News Podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the Wrestling News across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.